What a weekend series. Now you got to think it's it's an emotional roller coaster ride when it is the Phillies. It is what it is. Even even this year, it's still a little bit of a, an emotional roller coaster. Um, yeah. So we own free real estate in San Diego. Did anyone know this? There. Listen. It's kind of like this whole Padres thing feels like the Vikings, and the, in this in 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 the extent that. The Padres were talking shit leading up to the NLD, NLCS, right? That's what's in that stupid chant, that stupid, stupid, stupid song. They did it to themselves. The Phillies take care of business. We go on to the World Series. We didn't win, right? Not like the Eagles, but with the Vikings. But the same thing. You know, Vikings fans come to Philadelphia, NFC Championship game. They decide to walk up the rocky steps. And they disrespected Rocky, threw the Vikings jersey on there. They tried to do the Skull Channel on the Rocky steps. And they walked out of Philadelphia, pissed the fuck off, bitching like little mother. You know what? I'm not even going to finish it. But I digress. You get the picture here. It just feels like it. So here we go again. Phillies, Padres, first series between these two again since last year in the NLCS. Right off the All-Star break. And... You know, after all Star Break, I don't know if anyone thinks about this, but I do get concerned because the past couple seasons, they haven't started off good off out of All-Star breaks. So it was a little bit of a concern for myself with that. But, you know, it's funny. Everything kind of just tied in to last year. You know, the announcer. <laughs> so game four, we'll talk about all these games, but game four yesterday, you know, Bryce Harper scores a game tire in extras. And and he pulls one on Josh Hader in center field. A nice, it was like it was a perfect hit, a nice perfect blimp in the center field. And the announcer goes, and Bryce Harper does it again to the Padres. <laughs> Dude, even the announcer's like, well, we're we're kind of fucked at this point, right? It's 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 great. And then the best part about it is last year the one thing that we killed when Bryce Harper hit that, or when Reese Hoskins hit the um the game winner. Why wasn't Josh Hader in there? And that was a question mark everyone had. And here was Josh Hader in the mat in the game, and Bryce Harper still did work on him. And it was it was a freaking mess. But this was a big win, big series win. Three they win they take the series three games to one, and you know game one it was it starts off bad eight three loss. Uh, Christopher Sanchez gets a start. The bats couldn't get going in the for the Phils. And the Padres get gets home. They get home runs from the big bats. Tatis gets a home run. Manny Machado gets a home run. Juan Soto gets a home run. Uh, Gary Sanchez gets a home run as well. So it, it was it was that kind of a game there for for the Phils and for and and for the Padres there. Uh, so you 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 start off the first game with a loss, eight to three. You're thinking to yourself, well, are they about to do the same shit again? Are we about to go through the same shit again? Well, game. On day two, we have two games on Saturday, double a little bit of a double header. In game one, the Phillies come back thanks to Kyle Schwarber at 6 4 win. Starts off in the bottom of the four. Through four and a half innings, the Phillies were down. Schwarber hits a three run three run home run, and that was it. Phillies find a way to come back and they, they win six to four. The night game, that was a lot of fucking fun, right? Nine to four win. Another little comeback there. If Phillies just rock the, the Padres. You got Bryce Harper hitting home runs. You got fucking Craig Kimbrell, who's having a fantastic season, catches the ball in the bullpen with one fucking hand. And that leads into yesterday. Rain delay. We're delayed by like two, three hours. You're sitting back on a Sunday. What the fuck do I do? Yo, hun, it's raining. What are we doing? I can't even grill, hun. How about the Phillies coming back and getting you the goddamn win? Down three nothing. We take this bad boy in extras. The Padres come back. They take the one run lead. We talked about Bryce Harper's little blimp in the center field, and then Kyle Schwarber again, again Kyle Schwarber with the sack fly for the dub. Salsa hits home plate. Everyone runs to Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber doused in the water, and the Phillies take the series three to one. This was fun. This was fun. I don't know what's going on in San Diego. Do not ask me what's going on because I do not know what is going on in San Diego. The fact of the matter is all that talent on that baseball team should not be playing like this. Soto, Mechado, Tatis, 
Gary Sanchez, Christian, like they should not be playing this bad. But they're shooting themselves in their own foot. They just kind of lack. Like, I, I get what they did in the playoffs. Like, what they did in the playoffs here was pretty cool. Took care of the Mets, which I know a lot of people do do. But, you know, to beat the Dodgers, who have had their number, finally they get one, and they want to go on NLCS. Obviously, we know what happened. But I, I they came in this season with all the expected. Dude, they were, they were more confident than the LeBron James Heat. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, you know. They're talking about winning. They're talking about winning the World Series before even playing a fucking game. And that's what happens. That's what happens, guys. That is what happens. But overall, I, I had a lot of I, I had a lot of fun. That's exactly how you want to start off the second half of the season. The question the question has always been like leading up to this, like, what are we gonna get? What's gonna be the second half? Are we gonna get more of the same the last month? Or are we gonna get more of what we saw in the beginning of the season? And you're seeing more of the second half, or, or sorry, last month of what of the Phillies. They win in many different ways. They can hit the long ball. They they can they can run the bases, they can steal bases, they can bring runners in. And the biggest difference is as well, and I'm going to present this as well. Not always the biggest fan of of uh, of Jack Fritz, um, but I think this this stat is pretty indicative. One of the big things here in Philadelphia has been the fact that a lot of Philadelphia fans did not want Kyle Schwarber to continue leading off here for the Phillies. And I said, give it time. But I did like signing Trey Turner because there are games where you want to sh switch, right? You want to have Trey lead off, have Schwarber. Having optionality is always important. That was the big thing with Trey Turner. But I also thought that Kyle Schwarber should not leave lead off full time. But here is a stat here from Kyle, from, from, our, from our boy Jack Fritz over 94-1 WIP. Since June 2nd, when Kyle Shore was put back at the Lido spot, the Phillies are 26 and 11. He's slugging a 516 with an OPS of 833. And more importantly, he's got 12 home runs this thus far since being switched back to leadoff. Again, I do think you can switch it. You can switch between Trey, you can switch between Kyle Schwarber, but Kyle Schwarber's a leadoff. Kyle Schwarber is the leadoff. And that's it. That's that's all that's all needs to be said. And we'll see how this batting continues. And, and, and everything falls into play. I thought Trey Turner was solid. Obviously, you want him to to finish out the run yesterday. You know, Bryce Harper calling him. Why why didn't you why didn't you finish running? How are you gassed? That was funny, man. That was that was funny. And these guys, more importantly, like, dude, they are playing for each other. Bryce Harper being the prototypical leader that you need. You know, Hoffman gets his, you know, does his job yesterday. He, you know, he pumps his fist and he goes, thank you. Thank you for giving us a chance to win. You know, Hoffman gets his, you know, does his job yesterday. He, you know, he pumps his fist and he goes, thank you. Thank you for giving us a chance to win. These guys are ready. Give me October baseball, baby. We are making the fucking playoffs, by the way. We are doing that. Now, deadline time is still a question, and I still think that an, another starter may help. Um, Christopher Sanchez, you know, didn't look so, so good on Friday. Obviously, he's a fifth starter. If the, you know, if the Phillies would like to be a little more deeper, you know, it'd be nice to go out and invest in another pitcher. And, of course, another bat would help as well. We talk about Bryce Harper. There was a talk that Bryce Harper could see some time at first base at the end of uh, this past week. He didn't, obviously. So we'll see the status of that this week if uh, Topper decides to actually go through that. But that would really help. If you could just have some more rotation in the outfield, that would really help. Obviously, saw Johan Rojas get called up. Dude, the kid's 22 years old. That's crazy, man. But, hey. Um, Pachis as well is another option there in the outfield. But I think another option would definitely bode well for this team, man. W. Mar uh, Marsh, we're about to talk about Joel Embiid in just a second. I appreciate you coming here, man. Uh, we are talking about fighting Phils here. The fighting. The fighting. We're talking about it all. We're talking about it all, but we obviously have to follow an order here. We're about, we'll talk about Joel Embiid in just a second. Uh, that's what's it. 